times, defeatthebook.com. Let us help you beat the odds if you're new here. Welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Either way, I thank you for tuning in. It's greatly appreciated. Thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified every single time I drop anything on this channel. You want to stay locked in. You want to stay up to date as we're on six straight free pick wins, six straight profitable ROI days. Looking for a seventh here today, 1999. Get you my card. We had an incredible day yesterday. We're looking to try to continue that run. Um, and have an awesome day here today. Smaller card, we'll have some NBA, we'll have some college basketball, not a ton on, but there is a marquee game in college basketball, so best believe I'll give you my take on that. As we had the Raiders yesterday, we laid the three points, and what an absolute massacre that was. We actually we, uh, cast some player props as well. In the NFLs, we were up over, I believe, 10 units yesterday, 10 unit win, so if things have been going well, hop over to defeatthebook.com. You can see what streaks we're on, what the current runs are. They're at the very top. You scroll down the bottom, you'll see complete pick history for the entire week. We want to be honest, we want to be transparent, let you guys know exactly what we've been on um, and how things have been going for us. So let's get your free pick win sending on our way to have a great Friday, okay? We have a matchup here today. I believe it's not till later in the day. Let me make sure. Yeah, 10 o'clock matchup, prime time matchup here. UConn going over, play Gonzaga. It's not really considered in a way game. They're saying semi away and semi home. Gonzaga's in Washington. The game's going to be played in, in Washington. So best believe their faithful will be there. Um, and UConn has been rolling this season um, as they are four point favorites in this one. The line was over about, I think five and now it's down to about four and a half, four. You can shop around, get a number that you like. Total came out at 149 and a half. It's now since moved up to 152 and a half. Some places, 153, 153 and a half. A lot of steam coming in on the over. And for good reason, we see two teams um, that are both elite offensively in the top 20 in offensive adjusted efficiency. Um, and UConn is absolutely rolling. I'm not sure it's a freight train that, that many people want to jump in front of. And they've played some quality competition. We saw them handle Texas by 10 points, handle Indiana by 20 points. Um, they did lose to Kansas, which was their first true road game of the year. They lost by four points there. And for what it's worth, Kansas was number six in adjusted defensive efficiency this season. Uh, the only other team that they're going to face so far that is in the top 20 in adjusted defensive efficiency happens to be Gonzaga, who's at number 18. Now, they took care of North Carolina, which was a neutral site. It was in the Garden. Everyone knows that UConn in the Garden is basically like another home game for them, um, considering how many times they've played in the Garden. It's, it's, it's their home away from home. So now they have to travel again for the second time this season, go all the way on the West Coast, catch a flight, um, and play the Gonzaga Bulldogs, who best believe will have this game circled. Now, these two teams met in the tournament last season, and it was a beatdown. I mean, UConn pretty much steamrolled through the tournament. 82-54, to 54, they beat Gonzaga in embarrassing fashion. So I best believe that um, this game's going to be circled here, uh, and I'm expecting a highly contested matchup. Now, I think it can go either way, honestly. Um, I'm going to stay away from the side. I am very interested in the total, I think, because we see two teams that have scored a lot, like UConn has scored, I believe, seven of their, their 10 games they've played this season. They've scored over 80 points. Very balanced. Cam Spencer can shoot it from three. Um, Tristan Newton can shoot it from three. He's 35%. Cam Spencer's around 45% from three this season. Caravan's over 35%. They have guys who can shoot it. They have uh, Caravan down below, or Klingon, I'm sorry, Klingon. Uh, down below the seven footer. So they have a lot of balance inside, outside. But what Gonzaga does very well is limit the threes. Opponents are only shooting 29% from three point range this season against them. And I believe that they can't let this one turn into a track meet. They can't let this game get up into the 80s. It's not a game that Gonzaga can play up in that realm, I believe, with a team like UConn. UConn, I think, can outscore almost anybody. Um, but I'm expecting a more physical matchup. I'm expecting this game to be a little bit more slower slower tempo. Um, and I'm expecting here to see a little bit of the, the water to reach its level. Now, UConn is an outstanding shooting team. I expect that to come down a little bit here as they go on the road and travel over in Washington, as it did against Kansas. They shot well from three against Kansas. They didn't shoot it particularly well from two-point range, under 50%. From the field in two-point range during that game i think gonzaga defense does enough we know uconn's defense is outstanding i'm interested in the total uconn gonzaga under 153 and a half is my official free pick of today let's try to get free pick win number seven here give you seven straight days of free pick winners hopefully we'll get a, have another positive roi day here 19 dollars 99 cents 49.99 get you the entire week it's Derek dimes defeat the book.com let us help you beat the odds best of luck if you decide to tail but either way Hope that you guys have a fantastic Friday. Good luck.